Hey y'all, it's me, Zarela, and I'm back with another wig review video. So for today's video, I'm going to talk y'all through the whole process. Like, So this wig is from Asteria Hair, period. It came with this little Asteria lace band to put around your head. And it came with these 3D eyelashes, which I wish I would have put these on one. Because these are like dramatic. I don't usually do dramatic lashes. Okay, so this is a 5x5 five five transparent lace closure. It is 16 inches, 180% density, wet lace. <laughs> this look like a little head. Like Today, I really want to try to install it as a side part because lace closures, they usually made for like middle parts. But I feel like if you put them on the side of your head, you can do a side part. I really, really, really want to do like the swoop. And I'm using a darker wig cap, so I don't know if it's going to show, but if it does, I'm going to use makeup to hide it. So I really want to put it on the side of my head, so I'm going to bring it way to the side. <laughs> like, we're going to have to do some finessing, okay? I love me a lace closure wig because they're just so much easier to install. I'm going to show y'all my whole process. So first I'm going to get all the hair away from the lace and I could have customized this and like plucked it and stuff but you know I don't be trying to do the most. So clip all the little flyaways away. Clip them away. Just like that. I'm going to be using this Bolt Hole Liquid Gold Glueless Lace product. So and I like it. I really do. So I'm going to put it from right here all the way over here and it's gonna have to get in my hair yeah when i uninstall it i use alcohol so it won't get rid of my edges but sometimes i do be ripping the wig off and it's not good for your edges but i used to not give a f about my real hair but now i want to see like how long i can get it like i did the big chop like a year and a half ago and it's already back to the length that it was at so it's definitely growing so i'm excited for that i didn't bring my blow dryer in here so i'm gonna let it sit and get a little tacky and i'm gonna spray some even hairspray on it just for an extra firm hold okay it's a little bit tacky i don't feel like waiting probably gonna regret it but i'm just gonna go ahead and lay the lace down where i want it see yeah i got glue everywhere all up here but that's okay it's nothing a little alcohol can't fix okay um and then i'm just gonna spray it and then i'm gonna grab this and tie it down okay Okay, it's been like five minutes since I let this sit. It's still not dry all the way properly, but I'm gonna lay back down once we do the edges and stuff. So, let's just go ahead and cut it where I want it. So, I'm just gonna cut that, that way. Cut all this in piece off. Just like that. And as you can see, I got glue everywhere. So, let's just cut this. If y'all install your own wigs, do you guys leave a lot of lace out? Because I know there's people that they will leave like this much lace and then cover it with like baby hair and stuff. I like to cut most of the lace off because it's still gonna stick on your head. So you could definitely see it, but watch it disappear when I spray this on. Look at that. Where the lights at? Do y'all see it? As the um, even spread is drying, you want to just go ahead and keep doing this with your comb. 
if you're not using a blow dryer, just go ahead and do this with the comb to lay that lace down, baby. To make it stay down. As it's dry, just keep on. Just keep doing it. I don't know where I want the part to be. Let's just try for right here. So if I did do the swoop thing, it would be, i probably just do like a little piece like this, not really going over my eyebrow and just put that behind my ear. I think I want to bring this out. Alright, I think that's where I want the side part to be. So after the part is figured out, we are going to just lay it down a little bit. So I'm going to use, what is this, the Renutrients Slick Stick. And I'm a, I'm a beauty guru or whatever. If y'all see any like stuff on my hand, brown, black, whatever, it's makeup. I don't want y'all thinking I'm walking around with doogie fingers. Because never. <laughs> I'm gonna comb this out. There's like some leftover of that glue that's making the hair off. Tough. I could have put alcohol, but I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna comb it out. Before I really go in and start doing the baby hairs, I'm going to put some powder on the lace. So I'm just gonna take a brush I don't really use. I'm gonna take some of my skin color powder right here. And start patting all over the lace. Really get up in there. Really get in that lace. Let's just leave this out. I'm gonna pluck it a little bit more. I really am a dramatic baby hair girl. So like they be dark. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this way. Just like that. This hot comb has been used and abused, and I need a new one. And curl it up. I'm gonna use my even spray for now. To lay the baby hairs down and then I'm gonna put edge control on top because edge control is gonna make it weird they just can't move after you after you put it on okay so let's just start figuring out how we're gonna do these I like for my edges to look like just like starting from the bottom now we're here I really need to lay this part right here I want to be able to put this behind my ear so I'm gonna bring some hair out 
And I be seeing with pe people with, it be like this, and then they be having the hair out from right here. So that's what I'm about to try. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut these. Like, oh no. Oh, I feel like I don't. If the even spray. Okay, it's not that bad, y'all. First, I'm just gonna take some of this and put it on the part. I just like to take some of my spits and blend it out. I always be trying to edit this part of my video because I feel like it's nasty, but whatever. That's what I do. After that, I just take my leftover LA Pro Girl. So then I will take either black eyeshadow or a black mascara. And I will just get whatever that I got on the hair and cover it up. Okay, that's a divine part. Okay. So now that we got that done, do I want to do the swoop? Okay, so now, do I want to do the swoop thing? Let's see. Do I want to do the swoop? I have never done this before, so I don't even know if I parted it right. So I could take like this much hair. I need to make sure I really want to do this before I start spraying stuff and putting stuff on the swoop. Go take about this much hair. And I'm going to just put some of this slick stuff. Then I'm going to take some of this even spray and spray it. That's cute. I don't know. It's my first time doing the soup. So now I'm just going to brush the hair out. And it's cute like this, but I kind of want to give it a little bit more oomph to it. So what I'm going to do is put some crinkle curls in it, I think. So we're just going to take it. And let's just do like 20 seconds. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm finally done curling it. This is how it came out. 
I'm obsessed. I think I want to put on some hoops to complete the look. There we go. This is it. I love it. Hopefully y'all love it. Let me know if y'all like this better than like the sped up, the whole video being sped up. Ooh. I love it y'all. Let me know what y'all think about it down below in the comments. Don't forget to go check out Asteria Hair. Everything about this hair will be linked down below in the description. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.